Hello everybody, good day to you all. Today I'm talking about the movie Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. And I gotta say, overall, I did enjoy this movie a whole lot. This movie is started, directed by James Gunn. Um, after starring it, you got Chris Pratt, Zoe, um, Zoe Saldana, Karen Gillian, Palm um, um, Kalatif. Hmm? Sorry. And you got obviously got um Dave Batista, Vin Diesel, and Bradley Cooper, many others to the cast here. In this movie here, we have a situation where we, 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 I don't want to spoil anything, but no, here's the thing. In the movie here, we, we, we're pretty much focusing a lot on Rocket, where he comes from, his origins, and his connection he has to the High Evolutionary. High Evolutionary plays the a big uh, is the the big bad guy in this picture right here too. He wants to create his perfect world with his perfect people, and he's willing to pretty much make a lot of sacrifices to make this perfect world come true. And the only way he can make this perfect world, he needs the help of Rocket, and and so craziness happens from then on. Now. Before I get into the good stuff, let's start with the bad stuff of the movie. Bad, bad part of the movie is, I don't have anything bad to see with the movie. I really don't. Is this, now, I can say, I can say this, this movie's not, com the, the characters aren't comic book accurate. That's true. But a lot of Marvel movies aren't. And, this, and, and, this, and the way the story is told, and the way how they actually portray these characters, it didn't bother me. Now, it might bother some hardcore comic book fans that, that's not how he is. That sucks. But, eh, I can see I can see people doing that. But that didn't bother me. I, 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 just, I was just enjoying the story, so eh. So 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 that's that. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I, 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 I don't think, that's the only bad thing I see about this movie. This movie's the, 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 the good stuff now. First, let's start with the obvious choices. The obvious thing: the music. James Gunn has a the music has been a huge part of the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise, and it plays a huge part in here as well too. But sometimes I feel like it's almost like you watch a music video a lot of times. But it, 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 the music plays a important role. It's, it's like a, a character itself inside the movie itself. It has its own personality and also adds to, to to the scene that was going on and how you how you feeling as, as, as well. And a lot of the songs I go go alongside what's happening within the scene. You know, just, yeah, I, I go along with this as well too. Um. The, the humor in this thing, I, I thought was pre pre pretty funny. I enjoyed that as well, but it wasn't it wasn't like overtaking the drama that happens in here as well. So when, when something sad happens, you feel it. It, 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 don't, it, don't, it don't undercut it real fast and try, try to make a joke say, no, hey, let's laugh, kids. And then, no, 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 it lets you go through it. And I cried a lot of times in this movie. A lot. And I was expecting that. And I said, oh, I, when, it, when it hit you in the heart, it hit you in the heart. And it was just, oh, my God, like, you felt that. Especially when you get the origin of Rocket and seeing his journey and how he starts off. And Rocket never never likes to be called a raccoon. Because, first of all, he, I don't think he even knew what a raccoon was. And so, even though he, that's what he is, we know he's a raccoon, but he doesn't like to be called a raccoon. And then when you find his origin, you find that when, he, when he finds out who he is, where he comes from, and actually what he is, and seeing him come full circle with that, and you see him say his name for the first time, you say, yes! Yes! And then you have what's going on with Peter Quill, his journey, his arc. When he's, he's, you see him starting off mostly like he's drinking a lot, he's missing Gamora, his, the love of his life, and the thing is, though, a new Gamora is here who he's trying to connect to, but he can't because that's not his Gamora, and he, he, even though he sees the good in her, she does this, dude, I don't like you. And so, he, he, it's like, it's like you had the love of your life in front of you, and you cannot be with her because she doesn't know you, and you lost her and so you're mourning, and then you got her back, and you're happy, but you but you still lose her anyway. It's because because she doesn't want to be with you. So you see him going through it. <clears throat> you see him in his arc in his journey, because all his life, every time something tragic happened, he he he, he, he has run away. Every time he lost somebody, he doesn't deal with death well. And you see him like dealing with that too, and the journey he goes on to. Even Drax has his moment in here as well. Because he, he, but most of the time he, he mostly, mostly like the comic relief in here. But he also had some moments in here that's very interesting and, and very fun as, as a character and watch his, his growth. And all, even um, <clears throat> Mantis, every character, every character in here has their moments in here and has the funny moments in here too. The chemistry, like especially the, the, the comic duel between um between um Cosmo and um Craiglin. And watch you know, the play off one another, and there's a there's a there's a scene in here that is like, it's like a, a running joke throughout this whole entire thing in here that goes through, but it pays off in the end about him about about something that um an insult that Kraken gives to the dog, and and, and you see how it and it, it, it they could have even though it, it, they do it a lot, it's not it's not it doesn't feel like it was overplayed because when it when it does finally 
get pays off at the end. But it's yes, yes, yes. So everything has like this. This whole this whole movie even connects to to the first movie as well too. A certain thing that happened in that, that movie uh, <clears throat> comes back here, but in a different but in, but in a different way. And like, there's a scene in the first movie with um with Peter, and when he goes when he goes out in space and he saves um I think it's Gamora. <clears throat> And you've seen that come full, full come back around in this movie right here as well too. Only difference now is a different person. Now, even though the person um um Adam Warlock, this movie played by Will, Will Porter, is not comically accurate how he's portrayed, I did enjoy how he was how he played the character and what he brought to the table as the, as the character as, as well too. Because I I cause I understand where he's coming from. Because the thing is though, Adam Warlock was just born. And in the, in the comic books, he comes out very smart and intelligent. He knows, he knows everything, I'm talking everything. But but here he's like this. He's pretty much like a child. He's a baby. He doesn't even really know anything. He's still learning anything. You see him. He's making a lot of mistakes. You see him growing as a character every time he comes to the every time he comes in contact with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Because the first time he comes at them, he's he more like the rah beat beat him up. And then you see his growth, his arc as as well. So every character had that moment to shine. Even though he had a lot of characters in here, it wasn't. It didn't feel like nobody. Took over the spotlight, or nobody overpowered somebody. Everybody, everybody fit together as a group and as a unit, and as a, almost in a way like a family, and it all worked beautifully. Uh, <clears throat> Special effects, by I thought they did a great job there. The actor who plays um, um the high evolutionary, I'm not sure, I'm not so sure I say his name, but he did he did an amazing job as well too. I really did enjoy his performance as well. He all he also in the Peacemaker TV show. You want to see check that out there. Check check him out of that as well. As, as well. He, did, he does an amazing job as, as well. And you see him play, play this character High Evolutionary, and all, they also changed his like his origin and, and, and his connection he has to Adam Warlock as well. It's very different than it's in the comic books. But I actually have, I actually really did enjoy it. <clears throat> so overall, great movie, whole lot of fun. If you like action sequences, you like again, special effects wise, cool with that as well too. Cool visuals, funny as well, and then the emotional parts what they do hit. Oh my gosh, woo! So I give the movie a grade. I'm giving it an A plus. I, I really am. I highly recommend the movie. Go see the go see the movie. Marvel needed to win in a, in a really bad way because they they have been going down. Oh. And I'm not so sure what the, what the, what the Marvels are going to do. But this movie right here is really, really good. I highly recommend it. Go check it out for yourself. If you have seen it already, leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought about it. But if you haven't seen it, go see it. You will not be disappointed. Because I, 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 I had a whole lot of fun watching it. Two thumbs up for me. So, that's all I got to say about that. So, give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up. Shaboop. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really do appreciate it. Also, links down below. Make sure you on my social media. You want to follow me there. Thank you. Also, to my shirts, my shirts, my shirts, socks, and everything else and whatnot. So, my shirts right here. This is my I Am the Ninja Rabbit shirt. Mm -hmm. Many others as well. See some stuff, buy some stuff. I really would appreciate it. It's like I always say, in my dreams of life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.